Hey there everybody, welcome to my fourth and final video of my Adobe Premiere basic editing tutorials. I'm Mr. Tubes. Now, as I said, this is these videos are just basic, really quick uh, things that I went over to help you either get you back in the swing of putting some simple videos together or just helping you get started on putting your simple videos together whether you're posting on the YouTube, whatever, uh, anything else that you're doing with it. Um, I will be posting some more advanced tutorials on other things, getting more in depth or if you have any requests on videos or if you're stumped on something you need help with Adobe uh, Premiere, whether it's CS5, CS6, just let me know and I'd be glad to help. Uh, but for now, let's get back into it. Now in video 3 we went over unlinking we covered some more effect controls, and then we went ahead and learned how to add a title or text uh, to our video. Now in this one, we're going to finish it up with how to render effects uh, in your work area, how to render your work area completely, and then how to get that video exported and ready to post. So let's start off with rendering our effects. Now up here in your preview, um, it's going to be it's going to be an unrendered version basically and that's what this yellow line is showing and sometimes that can cause your video to be blurry and then clear and then blurry and clear while you're watching it and you're wondering what the heck is going on well it's just cuz it's not rendered but first we're going to go let's say we um we ended up splitting our video and you know making a transition and adding an effect or something like that adding a cross dissolve here in our video well, that's going to make uh, us have an unrendered uh, effect in our sequence, and it's going to give us a red bar here. And that means that it's just unrendered, like I said, and it's not going to, it's going to be kind of choppy. So let's say we're watching it, we're trying to see it, and it's not, it's not exactly the best dissolve, you know, it's not smooth. That's because it's unrendered. So let's go ahead and learn how to fix that problem so we can see our effects a little better, so we know what we're working with, you know. Sometimes you want to know, you want to see it. So it's as simple as coming up into sequence up here in the uh, top, and then just clicking render effects and work area. Now, it, it, depending on how many effects you have, it'll take some time. I just did one here, so it won't take that long. Um, but once it finishes rendering that effect, you'll see that it's going to put uh, a green uh, bar. That red bar will now turn green, and that means the effect is fully rendered and should be smooth. Um, right, right there, you see it, it's smooth. It's a lot smoother than before. Um, our our entire work area is still not rendered, so it's going to be still a little bit choppy. So we're going to learn how to fix that. Now let's say <clears throat> you've got all your effects in and everything like that, and everything's ready to go, and you want to render it before you export. You just go up here, again, sequence, render entire work area, and it's going to render everything that's in this gray bar or in you know, your actual video that uh, can be played. Now I'm not going to let it render, so I'm going to click cancel because <clears throat> I don't need to do that. But that's how you render it and you get it ready to export. Now, after all that, you're ready to export and post it and you know make it uh, make it a format that you can post. It's as simple as coming up here and file export uh, export media <clears throat> or uh, command M on the Mac, and then it's just going to uh, open up this little screen here for you. Now you want to make sure that this is at the beginning. If you want your entire work uh, area to be rendered, you want to make sure that these white things here are on both sides. You know your entire bar is fill. And unless you want to render or export, you know you can drag and drop and select different parts and areas of your video. <clears throat> then you can come over here, adjust your settings of your format. Uh, you can change your presets of your videos. You know your 720p, 1080i, whatever you're wanting to export it in. Um, you can add comments, change your output name, um, and then you can come down here and there's more settings to change, you know, your codecs, uh, quality settings, stuff like that. Once you're done, all you gotta do is click export, and then it will start creating um, your file, whether it's a .mov or anything like that. And then once it's finished, that file itself is ready to be uh, posted um, and watched. And that's pretty much it for this final video. Like I said, it was a lot of just simple things that I wanted to show you guys. I didn't want to re really want to uh, get in depth on these. I uh, just wanted to throw some stuff at you real quick, maybe help you out, get back into the game. Um, you, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have any requests or if you're stumped or just can't figure something out, let me know, and I would be happy to help you out, make a video, possibly anything like that that I can do. Um, please just let me know. Other than that, um, I'm signing off here. This is Mr. Tubes. For Mr. Tubes Tubes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, 
check me out on Twitter at, at Mr. Tubes, and I'll see you guys soon with some more gaming and tech goodness.